what's popping my J dolls and I am back with another video you guys today I have a Chanel before you get this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and you ring that back build and ring that bell period okay so y'all anyways Chanel if you haven't if you haven't seen my last video I'll leave a link in the description box where you can go see that I showed Chanel for the first time and I showed what I got her for the first day of bringing her home and stuff but I'm gonna show you guys her again so this is Chanel she is so long now but she's a toy poodle and she is five months now. Uh, she just turned five months and she's a girl. She's so cute and she's sweet. Look, she looks, she loves licking people. But anyways, excuse the hair. But today I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna try to keep her in the video, y'all. I don't know how successful that was gonna be, but we gonna see. So y'all, today I'm gonna be talking about how I got her um kind of the background story how much i paid for her what to expect when getting a toy poodle like the first week what happened with her so anyways you guys so when i got her she was four months old i found her on hoodily.com i think she's kind of tired because she usually doesn't sit this still but i found her on hoodily.com which is h-o-o-d-l-y i had never heard of that um website before and i almost thought it was kind of fraudulent because i had never heard of it but then i ran into someone at my job and they told me that they got their mini goody doodle there so i'm like okay this is kind of sounding legit and i'm actually getting a poodle off of there you okay chanel okay yeah so i'm actually getting a poodle over there so i'm i can trust this website so anyways y'all so what happened was um i found her on that website and then i started chatting with the person that was selling her uh, which was the mom and the daughter was selling her the dog chanel had belonged to the daughter and the daughter was disabled so she couldn't really take care of chanel because chanel is a handful when she does get wild she goes rampant and um the person i got her from had a cane so that was kind of hard when you have a cane to like take care of a puppy that runs around now let me tell you guys you're gonna hear a little background noise because the washing machine is going on so yeah that's what that is so anyways i got chanel from the mom and daughter they gave me a lot of information about chanel i don't know exactly her birthday i think it's july 11th she told me june 11th but it did not really add up um so i'm thinking it was july 11th um and the first day i met chanel so i went so they lived in the country which was like uh less than an hour away from me actually so i was like okay let me go pick up chanel it was the day before thanksgiving and literally i went to go pick her up and it's like a trailer area and i met the girl that owned her and stuff super sweet nice girl she gave me a lot of stuff for chanel by the way chanel cost a thousand dollars which i really thought was reasonable because she is a toy poodle and they usually cost two thousand something um dollars so she's just like licking my hand <laughs> so yeah that's um how much i pay for her she's a really a distraction <laughs> she just licked my inside of my lip with my lip gloss on but y'all if y'all want videos with her just know i'm gonna be distracted i'm sorry but anyways um what was I saying? So when I first met her though, I was scared because the old owner, I'm not gonna put too much of the information here because who knows, like no one will ever find out who she is, but I don't want her to feel embarrassed if she comes past this video, but she was saying she was scared of Chanel. And I didn't know what she meant by being scared of her until I met Chanel. So the day I met her, literally she was outside in the grass and the dirt because they had a lot of muddy area there and she was running rampant like she was running back and forth circling around not being on her leash not listening uh she was going crazy now i'm going to tell you a little background about this though they only spent 10 minutes a day with her because of the disability so i think she just gets hyper when she sees people and she still gets hyper not as bad but she still gets hyper when she sees people so i think because she was locked up in a kennel let me put her in her favorite position she likes to be held like this but yeah so anyways like chanel stop licky okay anyway 
<laughs> she okay by the way y'all she's a crawler so she just makes herself comfortable wherever she wants um and it's usually like this so anyways y'all they only spent 10 minutes a day with her so she wasn't used to seeing people uh she wasn't used to being outside of her kennel um so she was going rampant when she got outside and so i'm like i don't know if this is dog for me because she's a little too hyper and i work a lot and i don't want her to like go crazy so anyways you know i just started realizing i was like no this is the dog for me simply because i wanted to help her because in the situation she was in where someone couldn't take care of her only spent 10 minutes a day with her and was scared of her i was like i need to save this dog and at least i'm not buying the dog from a breeder which is not a bad thing like if you want a certain type of dog you can go to a breeder i know there's a lot of um you know hmm what can i say a lot of backlash with that but anyways she was bought from a breeder but i brought her from the person that bought her from the breeder if that makes sense i rehomed her so anyways yeah so she was insane the first day i met her like i was like i don't know if this is the dog for me but what i realized is when i actually took her home and stuff like she calmed down when she gets used to you she calms down uh, she'll chill, she'll play on her own, or she'll play with you. She'll have wild moments as a puppy, but she does good. So the first day, we took her in the ride in her kennel, and she didn't cry that much in her kennel. She was pretty tired, so we just took her on the ride, and we actually ended up stopping by my job to go get some things. My job does allow dogs, so we went and bought some stuff, and then we went to Pet Smart after that. She was having the time of her life because she got to see people, um, and she was so happy. They had her in a diaper, which was a no-no. I'm like, girl, oh, she getting heavy. She getting thick, thick, thick. But anyways, yeah, like they had her in a diaper, and I'm like, girl, no. When we get home, I'm taking this off, cause period, not my dog. Cause I asked him, I was like, you know, does she have like a bladder problem? or something because you know i think the diaper and most of the time when they put dogs on i mean diapers on dogs they have like a bladder problem but she's all no we just always put them on her and so i'm concerned at this point because she's four months going to be five months in some weeks and she doesn't know she's not potty trained uh at all like she doesn't know the basics so yeah so pretty much like after that we took her to the stores i took her home got her out of that diaper gave her another bath because that area was just so muddy like it was so muddy and um she was getting her paws all dirty running and rubbing in it and like she'd never been outside that's how she acts she's itching herself just in case you wonder <laughs> that's how she acts so i'm like okay so we got home, I wore her out that day because she met so many people. We went to the store, she ran outside. So by the time we got home, she was just chilling. She was playing with her toys. Now what I did notice is when I brought her kennel in, which is the one that her owner gave me, she started bringing all her new toys into her kennel. Like she would hoard them in her kennel. And I'm like, bro, what is you doing? Like, do you think you can't play out in a while? You think you can't spread them toys out, girl? Get out your kennel. What is your problem? And then I had to realize, I think that was her comfort place. Like, she's so used to being in there. She would just go in there randomly and sit. Or go in there and play with her toys. It's like she was scared to be out and play with her toys. I don't know. It's weird. Because every time I would put a toy on the floor, she will go grab it and put it in her kennel. But anyway, so after that happened... Uh, we had a good night. She was technically already kennel trained. Now, what the lady told me that gave me the dog was that she would cry for a little, like 10 minutes. But when I got her home, she cried for maybe like two seconds and then went to sleep. Like, I think she just had a very long day. So it was just like, whatever, I'm going to sleep. And she knew I was right beside her. So that's the thing with puppies is like, if you're sleeping right beside them and they're in their kennel, they do a little bit better. And she was four months. So at that point, you should be kennel trained officially. So that's kind of like, it was easier for me. She's chewing on my freaking jaw strings per usual. So yeah, it's easier to train them that way when they're older. Because as a puppy, two month old puppies are very different, which we'll do in another video about that, about what to kind of expect when getting a puppy. Y'all, yeah, she's a climber. So she's just gonna climb. And don't get on my bed, Chanel. Get over here. 
She thinks she's sneaky because she's never been on my bed before. And she tried to get on my bed. You're not allowed. I'm sorry. Because if you pee on my bed, it's going to be a problem. You heard me? Yeah. So anyways, y'all. She almost... <laughs> She thought she was sneaky. Like, I don't mind her sleeping in my bed later on in life when she's fully potty trained, when she has steps, because my bed is high as hell. So she would, she could break an ankle or leg by the time I'm trying to get down. But anyways, y'all. So, where was I? So the first day went really good. Like, honestly, she ate her food. They were feeding her regular dog food for some reason, so I had to go get her puppy food. And she loved her puppy food. She would, like... Uh, swallow it so fast and eat it so fast you know but now she takes her time with her food she'll eat it come back eat it come back or whatever i only feed her half a cup of food a day because uh, she's only five pounds she literally just turned five pounds and now she's getting a little heavier so she might be like six pounds you know um and then probably getting bigger i don't know the biggest she will get because her so the background story her dad is a mini mini um poodle her mom is a toy poodle so i don't know if she's gonna be toy size or more mini or just in the middle but yeah she has the features of her dad like the same color as her dad well her dad is white and she's a little more apricot brownie but yeah anyway now the week to come i'm gonna just talk about the big basic things so the week to come, so the first week, right, I had to, the first week I was off. Chanel was trying to go on my bed. Sit, Chanel, sit. Sit down. Good girl. So, she tried to go on my bed. You wanna get down? We gonna leave, we gonna take Chanel out of the video at this point. Bye bye, Chanel. Good girl. Yeah, yeah, we had to take her out of the video. So anyway. The first, the first week I was off of work so we spent a lot of time together and I learned that she really loved to cuddle. She's such a cuddler like you just see like she likes to crawl up my neck. She likes to lay there. She loves licking people's faces and I'm getting used to that because black people don't really be doing it. But I'm trying to like respect her and I want her to respect me like what are we doing here? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah like so I let her do it sometimes but when she gets obsessive because she will get obsessive I have to be like okay chill. But uh yeah, she's a cuddler. She loves to play. She's she's a very she's very much attached to me. So everywhere I walk around the house, she will follow me. Even when people are over, she loves people. She loves people. She will go to anyone. She jumps on people. She wants them to pet her. She licks them. She just she is the easiest dog to just like swipe up because she'll go to anyone. So um that's kind of how her personality is but she will always follow me even if my brother's here my cousin's here and she loves them she will still i go to the bathroom she'll still come to the bathroom just sit there or like she'll go on something like one day i was in the bathroom my brother said that she got on my ugg boots and just laid on my ugg boots and whined until i came out because it has my scent so she's a very sweet girl she's also very smart so the first week uh we did go to the vet so she went to the vet to get her uh vaccines or shots i don't know what's the difference but for dogs <laughs> but yeah so she got those she had already had a first round of shots but they were so freaking old because they were from like when she was two months that um they pretty much had to restart them and then now she's going back again at the end of December to get her last round of shots and then she's going to be getting one more dewormer next week I have to give it to her I already gave her one dewormer so yeah so that was the first week now when I did give her the first dewormer she did have a worm in her poop so I'm guessing she did have a worm in her stomach and it looked like a normal ass worm it was fucking freaky but I did call her back and she's like yeah that's what the dewormer does so that means it's working and that's the only worm I've seen but we'll see when we do her second round of wormers because <laughs> that wasn't cute baby girl how does worm in my baby's belly like in her poop like you are mad disrespectful you are trifling bitch who raised you anyways y'all so that's what happened with her and um so let me tell you guys 
kind of what we would do is I would play with her. I taught her how to fetch. I, she already knew how to sit. I just kept reinforcing it with treats. Uh, I taught her how to shake your hand, like paw. I'm really trying to teach her how to lay with baby girl. It's a very hard. It's very hard. She'd be losing concentration. So I'm trying to teach her that. I teach her how to drop her toys. So I got to tell her to drop it. She put her toy down because she always wanted to tug of war for us before we fetch. But anyway. So I've been teaching her a lot of things. Now let me tell you about returning back to work. Because I could talk to her, talk about her for hours. But returning back to work. Um, the first day. Uh, she had went to the vet that first day. So my friend picked her up. Dropped her off and put her in the kennel. By the time I got home. I realized she had ripped up. Her crate bed. I just had bought a crate bed for her the day before and she figured out how to unzip it and she tore the stuffing out of it. So I was like, huh, this is what happens when you leave a puppy by itself for like five, six hours in a kennel. They're going to start ripping shit up. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it to her. She was bored. I put some toys in there, but maybe I should have put a bunch of toys in there. So I'm like, you know, okay, cool. You know, next day my brother's going to dog sit her, so that's good. The next day I'm going to have her playpen, and then she can stay home while I'm at work in the playpen. I'll come visit her on lunch break. So I got her playpen, it finally came, and there was some ones that zip up. So I'm like, okay, she's secure, she got her food, she got her water now, her body baths, and her toys. She is legit, too legit to quit. So I'm going to go to work, and then I'll come back on lunch break. So y'all, I come back from lunch. And this girl figured out how to unzip her playpen. So when I come back in, I look at the playpen and I'm like, it's empty. What is going on here? What is the problem? How did you get out of here? I look up, she's sitting on the couch just looking at me. Like she looked at me like she knew exactly what she did. She knew I was going to be mad. She didn't even jump down and rush to me because she knew I looked at that candle like, bitch, what? So I looked at the kennel and you can, I mean not kennel, the playpen, but you could clearly see that she unzipped it and hopped out. She only needs, she literally only unzipped it maybe like that much. As long as she can fit her head out, she will get out. She will get out. Trust me. Because even with the backpack, I have her a doggy backpack if you saw my last video. And she figured out a way. Let me see if I can make this focus more. There you go. She figured out a way to jump out of her backpack like she if you don't zip it up all the way she will jump out she's a jumper she's a climber she's all of those things so i realized though that she'd been out i didn't know how long she'd been out but she, a she didn't tear shit up so i'm like okay baby girl you kind of good number two she went to the bathroom on her potty pad she didn't even go to the one in the playpen so she, baby girl probably got so she probably had to use the bathroom so fucking bad she was gonna use it up in there that she was like fuck it i'm gonna get the fuck out of here and i'm gonna use my potty pads out there period so uh, she used the potty pads she didn't poop her pee on the floor she was she didn't rip anything up so I was like, you know what? Maybe baby girl could really just be outside the playpen. Maybe she could just roam the house. Like, as long as my bedroom is closed and my bathroom door is closed, if she didn't tear it up, let's give her freedom. So I just start letting her be free when I was at work. Then I didn't even have to come home on my lunch break because she has her food, she has her water, she has her potty bath, she has her toys, and she does a very great job. The only thing she has done is like start biting my fake plants. Which is to be expected. It took her a while to even do that. But I had to take those out. Because the girl was eating them. She eats anything. I mean, And I mean anything. So if you have a puppy you leave shit on the floor. She's going to eat it. And she be trying to swallow it real fast. And I try to open her mouth like no girl. No girl don't play with me. Period. But y'all I think that's the most about her I guess. In the first week. If you want me to make another video like this. Let me know. I will have another video of like the pros and cons of getting a puppy. Like even like one that's younger than her. Um, if you're making a decision to get one. Um, stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want me to do like a day in a life? I mean we don't be doing shit. Besides like going on a walk in the morning. She uses the bathroom quickly in the morning. Play, fetch, play with her toys. Then we probably go for another walk if I'm off for the day. We might go shopping or something. But yeah, like, let me know if you guys want that. But thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Alright, bye.